We've heard about the record number of measles cases in the U.S. And if you're not totally sure if you were vaccinated as a child, there's an easy way to find out. And there's extra incentive to do so if you live in our area. We've reported on a UT Austin study predicting the 25 U.S. counties most likely to see an outbreak. Well, three of them are in Texas, Travis, Harris, and Tarrant counties. KXAN's Ali Hernandez reports on a blood test that can tell if you, if you are immune to measles as an adult. The CDC says that anyone who has not been vaccinated against measles is at risk of getting it. But how do you know if you were vaccinated as a child against the disease? Maybe you don't remember or maybe you don't have access to your shot records. A lot of adults don't. I know I don't have access to my vaccine records. So what do you do to make sure that you're safe? Well, I learned that there's a simple and quick blood test that can give you the answer and let you know if you had the vaccine as a kid and if you are immune from the measles virus as an adult. It's called the titer blood test. Dr. Coburn Allen tells us titers look for the level of antibody in your blood. If you're vaccinated as a kid, you will have a certain level of antibodies that show up on the blood test as an adult and it tells doctors that you are protected from getting measles. You're immune. But what happens if the test shows that you were not vaccinated as a kid? Should you get the vaccine now as an adult? So clearly, if, if it does show you're non-immune, if you happen to have gotten the test, you should go get a vaccine. And in fact, as an adult, it may mean you have to get two vaccines if you're a high-risk person like me. So when I started medical school, I actually got tested, and I did find that I was not vaccinated as a child and actually had to get two vaccines within a month apart. The CDC says high-risk workers include health care workers like Dr. Allen and those who are traveling overseas. But back to the CDC website, because when I was looking closer at this website, it says that if you're unsure whether you were vaccinated as a kid, it doesn't actually recommend you take the blood test first. It says first look for those shot records, and if you still can't find those records, it recommends you get the vaccine. The MMR vaccine, it says, is safe, and there's no harm in getting another dose if you may already be immune to measles, mumps, or rubella. But Dr. Allen, of course, says the best thing to do is just talk to your doctor about what the next step should be for you. In the newsroom, Sally Hernandez, KXAN News. And going in depth, the number of measles cases in the U.S. has surpassed 800. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports 839 cases in 23 states, including Texas. That's as of, as of last Friday. It's 75 more cases than the week before. Almost 700 of those cases have been reported in New York. Most of those are among unvaccinated people in Jewish communities. Health officials are calling this the worst measles outbreak the country has experienced in a quarter century.